to save me from her people. She's out of her mind. All right. Shars, you can help me. I'm putting away sissies in your clothes. That's what we're doing today. Please. 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 Let's pull it together. This is 24-7. Um, yeah, you're my baby, but you're also out of your mind. Um, so part of my compacting is obviously that I'm more thoroughly going through all of the kids' stuff before I happen to go shopping and buy impulse purchases, because oftentimes I'll go to Target and I'll be like, oh, we might, might, have the emphasis on the might, need tights or leggings or whatever. And then I get home and it's like, yeah, we already have 400 pairs of whatever, you know. So I'm trying to go through that more carefully. It's hard to get anything done, people, because I've got a shadow, a whiny, demanding shadow. She just does not let up. She really doesn't. It's pushing me over the edge, for real. All right. So it, it's hard to get anything done in the day because she just won't let me have any space or do anything. But here are my things to share for the day. Number one, do you, you know of my love for command hooks. And I'm going to remind you. Those are the command hooks. Got them all over in there. Who knows what outfit the kids are going to choose for Halloween, but I'm looking forward to finding out. I will show you my other uses of command hooks. I just bought these. See? They have these little tiny hooks up there. Removable, obviously. Comes in a pack of like 50. So you can do Christmas lights. But I'll show you how cute our mantle display is. Another use of my command hooks. See, this coat area had metal hooks. Oh yeah, cute. And then I put in a second row for kids level stuff. <laughs> ah, you found us. Another command hook. That's the expensive decorative kind. Oh, there's more people. There's more. Um, I will put a disclaimer out there that I do have stock in 3M, just in case I ever run for office and this video makes it to the um, general public and people say. Um, but, you know, you're profiting from that. I guess in some strange, very minor way I am. But I'm, I'm paying for them in cash, people, and they're worth every penny. I'm actually thinking, where else can I use command hooks? I mean, they're fantastic. A, they're totally strong. And they leave, you know, no residue on your wall. You can move them. It's fabulous. Right? Yes. I will show you some of our Halloween decorating. We've got our paper witch chain garland. You saw that pumpkin up there. You saw our mantle. There's our spooky wire tree. There's our... Well, it's turned around. Thing from Japan. Did you know? Did you know that they celebrate Halloween in Japan? They do. They're all into it. There's another Japanese hanging thing. Um, we don't have a flag, so I hooked our flag up over that. I know what you're thinking. Genius. And I'll show you the outside really quick. Anything to get away from her, honestly. Um, you've seen our door plaque and our thing, but you have not seen our spooky streamers. So I'll show you. Those are our spookerific streamers made from garbage bags, our light up pumpkins, our pumpkins. This beautiful, perfectly round pumpkin I got for four dollars at the grocery store. The other two ones are flat and dirty on the backs and rotting. I got those for a million dollars at the fake pumpkin patch run by church ladies. <sighs> I'm never getting over that, people. It really was a rip. Ay, ay, ay. No. What are you doing? Uh, hmm. Can we save these? Are you putting them back or are you taking them out? If you're putting them back, that's awesome. Keep it up. 
So that's what we got going on in that front. Um, pumpkin place mat. Spooky witch. You know, you know the drill. What time I am? All right, back on track. I don't remember what I was originally talking about. Anyway, I've successfully stuck to my compact for not buying any Halloween decorations. I'm not buying any birthday decorations except for a dozen helium balloons because that is our tradition and those will be tied to kids' chair when she wakes up in the morning for breakfast. So, I'm sticking with that. And that's only like about six bucks. On other news, um, I still have not written an official compact. You know why? What's the point, people? If I write an official compact, I feel like, um, instead of writing a compact, I'm just saying I'm compacting. You know, I'm in the process of compacting. I'm in the process of bringing less into the house, spending less. That's my, that's what I'm doing. Right now, I am not working on getting rid of our stores of stuff in the basement. That is out of the way. It's not affecting anybody. It's not getting better or worse. I'm leaving it be. Um, in fact, there are some useful things on there. So maybe in years to come, I'll get onto that. But right now, I'm not doing that. I'm just bringing less in. And I will say, I had my first serious challenge yesterday at Toys R Us. I had to go in there to get one of the presents for kids that uh, we had decided on. And of course I didn't have it. But honestly, as soon as I walked in the door, I was overcome with the impulse urges to like go aisle by aisle or check out all the things in the sale department and feel pressure that like because I couldn't get what I had wanted to get that I should get something else and spend more for it. Um, and I didn't, people, I didn't. Instead, I got one... I had a three dollar coupon. I got something for three ninety nine. I only had to pay a dollar for it um, for baby to give her sister, and um, and it wasn't complete junk. It was a Playmobil, little Playmobil, two person set. Because we're working on moving towards Playmobil um, as her stuff. Because if you don't know this. Playmobil rocks, and as soon as they're old enough to not be frustrated while they're putting the stuff together, which for us is now at six, um, they have, well, Kid is in particular into kind of very detailed, dramatic play like that, but they have, A, they have religious sets, yes, yes they do, and so you know, you know what she'll be into, um, but I've seen kids, like, you know, 11, 12 years old still getting into it. In fact, I've seen teenagers still get into playing with it with other kids. So, you know, you can't resist it. Even adults. You cannot resist the playing bill. So it's a good investment. I'm into it. And you know what? Honestly, I've decided... What? whatever. I made it through the Toys R Us experience. I was very proud of myself. It was really difficult to do that, I will say. I had a lot of desire to spend more and, oh, good lord, um, and I didn't. Also, I am going to say, back on track with what is contacting. For me, I'm, I'm not going to write a list of, list of rules. I am just going to try to do better every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day I'm trying to be very conscious of my spending and there is no, like, challenge time frame. This is just indefinite. We have to... Oh, my gosh. Um, we have to do it, and so that's that. We've made a lot of changes so far. I've spent dramatically less on groceries this week. I am going to try to always have one super cheap week of groceries where I don't have any fresh meat, <laughs> which doesn't mean spoiled meat. It means I make my meals from frozen, um, frozen things, which are always a little bit cheaper. Um, baby, baby, baby. Oh, 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 I'll be our greatest. Oh, God. Um, so that's that. Plus, Mr. Jeff is making his lunches. That's got to be saving us money. And 
Uh, we had almost no food waste this week, so that's also another goal. All right, those are my things. Check it, check.